Yeah. Yeah, we started four years ago. And um, yeah, there are, of course, there were many reasons to make this film and many ideas. But uh, one, of the, uh, one of the reasons was that, I wanted, that we wanted to, was curiosity. We wanted to see how our, ne our neighbors uh, live. So, and I think it's, particularly in this time, it's very important that you can see, and we already knew that, of course, that's why we wanted to make this film, that a lot of things are completely universal, like love, finding identity, uh, trust, getting respect, and things like that. So, um, uh, yeah, so then we also wanted to, uh, to do everything to make the we and them feeling smaller. And we do this, and we also want to do with the better girl. <laughs> point of view, point of view of a girl. And what was your research process, your scripting process? I'm sorry? What was your research process, the scripting process? Um, there's Jan. He's a scriptwriter, come on stage. And the producer from the book. Jan Aaron, uh, so now maybe you can tell us. <laughs> uh, yeah, first we started reading a lot, and there is a lot to be found on the internet as well. And uh, during the process of research, we um, met a lot of, uh, especially women, uh, who radicalized or de-radicalized in me. So we spoke a lot to them, and um, so and then I started writing. And when Nora and Elias came in the picture together with Mike, they started to do the very uh, precise research. They went to uh, meetings with sister groups, uh, they went to the mosque, they went to, uh, for example, to a big trial, a trial in uh, Amsterdam against uh, radicalists. So uh, the fine tuning, they did the three of them. Yeah, maybe you also can tell us something about it. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, we, went, we went for research, we went to Germany, we stayed in a bungalow for the weekend, it was really nice. We got to know each other a lot more, and uh, after that, as Jan uh, mentioned, we had this research from this trial, and it was really confronting uh, for, for all of us, uh, because you see what you have to become, and that, that's like really confronting. After that, um, we did a lot of uh, rehearsals uh, at Micah's office, and uh, the, the thing that I love about Mike is that she's so focused about the acting and not the technique. Uh, so when we were shooting, she gave us all the freedom and we didn't have to pay attention to light, camera, anything. She's just, she just threw us there and like, just do, your, just do your thing and everything will be fine. So, and it worked. <laughs> Eventually it worked. So now it's be a really good one. Both of your performances phenomenal. Um, I, I think you probably want to hear from the audience. It's the first time you're screening in Europe. So if there are any questions, put your hands up where we can see them. We've got roving mics and not very much time. So there's a question right here in the middle. And another one on the right. How did you get about finding that Lila character? <laughs> Yeah, she she was the only one. She was Lila. So you no, know, we saw a lot of a lot of girls, of course, and she was definitely the best. The only problem was that she didn't know. She didn't believe it. So it was uh, so we had to work hard on that. And I think now she believes it, that she's the best. <laughs> because um, there was a play written here for the National Youth Theatre called Homegrown that was classified as too radical and the police and the authorities shut it down. So was it quite easy for you to raise the money? Did you meet with any resistance? Um, yes, yes and no. Uh, normally when you, uh, when you develop and uh, taking care of the financing of a feature film, you make a lot of noise, you do a lot of marketing. And this, in this specific case, we were not 
completely aware of where we were moving, so we, we kept it quiet. Uh, till the, uh, but with our film fund and uh, the European film fund and the co-producing countries, Belgium and Germany, we were, uh, they were quite okay with the film because I think it's not a Dutch film, but it's uh, well, a European phenomenon. And um, there was a certain moment we were shooting the film, and during the film, uh, the, the, um, the row in the film uh, was quite a big shooting day with a lot of police and a lot of extras. And we, sh we were planning to shoot that scene just uh, uh, two weeks after the Paris attacks. And we, were, we really wanted to shoot the scene in the area in Amsterdam where we thought the, the, the scene should take place. The police, they were really uh, afraid and they forbid uh, the shooting of that scene. And then we got a phone call from the mayor and more or less he insisted on shooting the scene in that area but with uh, special measures because he's thinking that Amsterdam is a city of freedom, freedom and also a city where everything must be possible but, but of course in a safe environment and uh, we had a long meeting with the, the, the filmmakers, the police and the mayor and two weeks later we could shoot the film, we could shoot the scene, that specific scene. And when we were traveling uh, in last January to, to Jordan to shoot the, the Jordan scenes, uh, we were a bit hesitating what to expect, but uh, I think for all of us, and there are some people of the crew and the cast, there are also in the audience, we had a terrific time there and we, we, feel, we felt very safe, although it was very confronting to shoot the scene in the refugee camp. Um, I thought the film was superb and worked well on every level. As a cameraman myself, there's a particular mention to the focus puller on that film, who did a superb job. But um, what I wanted to say is I would, I would expect someone on the road to radicalization seeing this film might be diverted from it. Was that one of your hopes or intentions? Uh, you mean diverted? The, uh, the film starts when she's just uh, a teenager and who uh, 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 is in sort of fight with her parents, and then half a year later she's in part of this radical movement. Um, but we, for us, it was very important that the film was about uh, a true and honest girl living in Amsterdam, maybe, uh, but living between two cultures, and we truly wanted to show that uh, for us. For, uh, that it's very difficult for her to um, that she doesn't belong in the Middle East. She, the, the the main character thinks she lives, she, she belongs in the Middle East among people uh, who are the same. And um, we wanted to show that uh, the character Lila is yeah in, in diaspora, like many people that they live in Amsterdam, but they also uh, they want to go there, but they live in two worlds. That's a bit what you wanted to hear. <laughs> no, it's just, um, I, I, I would have thought someone seeing that film who was maybe going along that path and would, would perhaps be, feel it's the wrong path, you know, I need to back off, I don't want to go through what this woman has gone through. Yes, yeah, definitely what we wanted to tell. We hope, uh, we... Oh yeah, that's definitely what we want to achieve with this woman. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's <Yeah>. definitely. <laughs>